Uh, in this video, you are going to see how to add your layers to a rigid system. So here, your layers, your original layers, must be done first. And then you are seeing the rig system which I did. And you can use it for inverse kinematic I key. And then originally it's gonna work like that. You can change the layers, you can change the drawings, but still you can you just use this rigid system as I key. So here is what we are doing. First of all, as you see this rigid system, I add some layers which is empty inside. We will just swap the layers with yours and delete the X one. As you see, it's you can understand which layer is gonna be deleted and swap is yours. By name you just change the layers. For example here is leg up is going there and elbow I said but it's gonna be knee on your layer and you're just taking the X ones and deleting all and just taking the pegs of your layers is important it must be with pilots which you add before so when you be sure the pilot is okay you're just making the same thing with layers you're putting the original pegs and dating the X ones. So as you see here is another another pack with another pilot but I'm gonna want I'm gonna use the same pack with this so I'm copying it and being sure at remove exposure and create new columns will be ticked and you're taking the updated one and putting the same place and here it is done so we can use the rig easily by now So it's connected to composites, so as you can see, it is just perfectly working. But something wrong there, so it is easy. The, there is one more thing you must do. Yeah, open the control points of this transform limit and just adding keyframe to where you want to like break so if you want to try you can just take the foot and to up and you're seeing it's it works very nicely so that's all thank for watching and see you next video you can download it from here on Comrade and add your project and you can use. Thank you.